Righty oh. Michael Cameron from Cameron Caravans here. You might have got my uh, new intro. Honey, uh, and I want to introduce you to Jason straight away, Jason, by the way, from Jason from Off-Road Living. Pleased to meet you, Jason. Nice We're, to meet you. Uh, we've just started a new partnership, and it that is, it is because of our good friends, Cam and Tip, yes. uh, from Wild Touring. Yes. Uh, he was the one that picked on my intro too, so now okay. I just copy you. I'm here to learn a bit today, because we have done some a lot of swapping. Obviously, our, our biggest change probably for us is our battery. Sure. We've gone from, uh, obviously, another brand yep. to yours, yep. due to uh, feedback from obviously not only yourself, but yep. testing that you guys have done. Sure. And then we're standing in front of what yep. is uh, obviously a, a promo showing off the new 300 yep. uh, amp hour. So obviously Cam and Tiff have got the 200, the yes, 300s yeah. weren't out. Yep, that's right. Um, so they've got three of those, but standard in our gaps now is actually two 300s. So tell us what you've done to fit that into that, yep. and yet give us more. So, yeah, new, new to our range in 2025, uh, new self-instruction that allows us to build a battery in a smaller footprint, essentially. Yeah. Um, we've standardised the case options for 200 and 300 amp hours. Yep. It's got a new Bluetooth monitoring function that we didn't have prior in our batteries. Yeah. Um, and now we've got that, that option for, for your customers to essentially choose from multiple 200, multiple 300. Yeah. Um, there's no real limit to how many they want other than what they want to power, I guess. Yeah, so at the moment we've uh, we've got lithium across every CRV. Yes. We've got your 100 in our standard model, the highway over here. That's right. Uh, we run the 300 in our, uh, what do we got, our hybrids behind us, our yep. southern ends. Uh, even our on-track gets the 300. That's right. And the Gap, being our flagship model, gets two 300s. Yep. Now we're actually making our battery boxes smaller because you've got more efficient with the battery. Correct. You might have seen in Cam and Tiff's video, it could have fitted up to four, four 200s. Yep. Now we're fitting the 300. We've only got two in the box. We've got this massive box. Yep. So we are making them smaller. We might check that out uh, today as well. So uh, we might uh, pick it up at the battery box and just show you how much room we have got. We're down by the power box now, and as you can see behind Jason, we have got lots of room to add more batteries. For those people that might read the fine print, they might see we have got 200s, Jason. I know we cleaned you out of 300, yes, so yes. <laughs> these will be upgraded. New stocks yeah. coming, we're going to have all the new systems that we've just touched on. Yeah. But let's talk about, so standard, we're in front of the CRV, the gap. We're going to run two 300s, so we've got 600 amp hours of uh, yeah. battery. And we've already got customers asking us at the show, do we need a third or can I buy a third? And we say, yes, you can, yep. but do we need a third, I guess, is the question. Look, ultimately, it comes down to what the customer's going to use from a power consumption point. Yeah, yeah. Everybody camps and travels differently, and not everybody's camping. Some people are travelers full time, right? Whether they use an air conditioning for short periods of time or longer periods of time, whether they use an induction cooktop, which you have in, in, in this, this model. Yeah. Um, some people are cooking with gas, some people are cooking and using uh, devices. Um, coffee machines, kettles, toasters, yeah. microwaves, air fryers. Everybody uses that stuff these days when they're full time travelers, right? Yeah. So you need to have a substantial battery capacity to go with that. Yeah. Uh, that can power your inverter for your 230 volt devices, and ultimately you've got to have enough solar to be able to recharge that in the next day. Otherwise, all you've given yourself is one day, and yeah. you're going to find that. that. That was going to be my next question. Okay, we've got two parts that really make up the, the off-grid side of uh, caravanning now, yeah, that's right. and of course one is storage, yep. the other is input. Correct. And of course up on the roof, so we've got the new uh, 24 volt, that's right. 200 watt, that's right. uh, by four of them up there, so yep. we've got 800. We've obviously already got questions. We can add uh, another 200 up there, so we can take it up to a thousand for customers. Yep. So that just gives you more input and more storage. So, is there a magic number? Well, ultimately, <laughs> we try to have double the number of watts for the amp hours of capacity in each and okay. Right. Anything less than that ratio, if you had uh, 600 amp hours of batteries but only 800 watts of solar, you probably don't have enough. To be able to recharge it consistently day after day after day through a range of different conditions. When yeah. it's beautiful, sunny day, like like day this, perfect, perfect yeah. right? But you don't get that every day of the year, unfortunately, right. and you're going to have different range of conditions. Right? Yeah. So you need to have um, as much solar as you can 
is a good sit on the roof, I guess. Yep. If you're going to be running air conditioning in natural cooktops and those high powered device. devices all the time. So, of course, another feature on the CRV, and it's right next to me, the Anderson plug. Yep. So, it allows us to put now uh, a portable kit That's right. uh, that customers quite often travel with. They can chase the sun a bit more. Correct. So, that probably leads me to another question. Our solar panels are obviously always fixed on the roof, so they're flat. Yeah. So their optimum, obviously, as the sun comes up, That's right. will be when it is above. But of course, the portable one, there's a percent, there's a sun there, isn't there? That there is, explains. Yes. You, you can follow the sun, I guess, throughout the dust. And if yeah. you get up early in the morning, you can have the, the panel facing directly at the sun through there, and you can change And get this morning there. light now that we're in. a total solar harvest through the day uh, with that type of And a lot of campgrounds these days, you can't avoid the trees. Yeah. Right? So yeah. you might have a lot of solar on the roof, but if it's under the trees, they're not going to produce as much as they need. Yeah. So you're going to need to supplement that sometimes with that larger sort of portable panel as well. Yeah, okay. What yeah. we might do now is pick it up. We've got a little display of a Victron board out here. We might talk about how the solar panels are coming into the Victron. Sure. Uh, and the setup that uh, you guys have obviously done for Cam and yep. Tiff, uh, and, uh, and why we've gone that way. So, yep, we'll pick it up over there. Yeah, we're back now in front of the uh, the Victron board that we have inside the van. Yep. So, I guess the question is, and and it confused me for starters too. And of course, I have to explain it to customers. Okay. So, I'm hoping you can help me dumb it down a yep. little. No worries. We've got a 24 volt panel up the top. That's right. And we've got a 12 volt battery down here. Correct. So, let's explain the advantages of that. Yep. So with any solar system, you always want to run the highest input voltage from your solar array to your controller that your system components will allow, yeah. okay? So there's no reason why you can't have 100 volts of solar coming in to the MPPT solar controller as long as that device is able to ramp that voltage down to what your batteries require. Yep. When it ramps down the voltage, it brings up the current, right? So think of it like a seesaw, high yeah. volts and low amps. Yeah. Through the controller, it switches positions and the volts come all the way down to what your battery needs and then you get the, the amperage pulls all the way up. Yeah. Higher voltage is always going to lead to lower current. This is on the input side. Yeah. So if you've got lower current, you get away with lower, uh, smaller cables to run down yeah. to your controllers. Yeah. You get less voltage drop. Uh, less heat being produced by lower current, yeah. less heat equals better efficiency. Yeah. In lower light conditions, you'll always get better total solar harvest in it. You know, so if it's cloudy, yeah. overcast days, you're gonna get more power from your solar panels into your batteries than you would uh, with a lower voltage system. That's good news okay. because I have been using, I've, I've dumbed it down a little bit more than that, and I basically say to customers, it'll start charging earlier in the morning. That's correct. And keep charging the later in the day. That's exactly right. Nice simple yep. way, so yeah. <laughs> That's right. I've done it right for a time, And yeah. it, look, most people don't need to know that. They just want to know, is it going to is do it what I'm asking it to do? Yep. With a higher voltage And system. we can go tick, yeah. we're doing that. Roof right of your house, you would always run a higher voltage, three, four, five hundred watts. Uh, sorry, uh, volts in the input. Yep. Obviously, it's a bit different on a caravan, but the higher the voltage is always going to give you a better total output. Right. The next dumb it down I have for customers, we can obviously see here we've got two MPPT panels. Yes. We've divided the two panels uh, into each one. Yep. If the shade falls over this side of the van, like my hand is there now, yep. this side's in the sun, yep. we're still going to get totally solar. Unaffected. So only the string that's in the shade will be affected by its output. The one that's in the sun will be totally unaffected. Yeah. Uh, the, the same applies if you also had a portable system as well. If you had a bit of shade on the roof, but a portable system out in the sun, each solar array will operate at full power, yeah. unaffected by the shade that might be on one or four or oh, the yeah. other. So just, just that advantage, I guess, yeah. for us. So we've previously had, obviously, the roof full of solar. Correct. But as soon as uh, an array gets in the shade, yeah. we would have been dropping the whole thing. The whole thing. Yeah. So, yeah. And up top, you've got, you've got your air conditioner, you've got your dust extractor, yeah. you've you're got gonna... your fence and hatches. So you, the shade is sort of unavoidable in certain places at certain times of the day. So yeah. having the array split across multiple controllers gives you a better total harvest again through the, throughout the day. Excellent. I hope, uh, <laughs> I know I've learned a lot from that. So look, looking at the board, obviously, uh, we've set 50 amps off the car. That's right. Uh, obviously, my dumbing down of that is an average car has 150 amp uh, charger in it. We don't want to rob it all from the car because Correct. we want the car to run its fridge, its spots, lights, its yep. the whole car, basically. Correct. So setting that to 50 yep. means 50 is coming in from the car while we drive. But of course, well solar, solar. Yes. Yep. So the, the van's outside, it's in the sun, it's traveling down the highway, and we can top it up then uh, through the solar. That's right. And of course, if you do get to your caravan park, home, wherever, 240 plug in, 
120 amp charger with a 3000 watt inverter. So um, yeah, as I say, we, I believe we've really ramped it up with the help of you guys with our batteries, your solar, yep. the Victron system. Right. I reckon we've got a true off grid caravan. You know? So um, nah, I appreciate all no that worries. advice, Jase. Thank you for welcome. coming down this morning. Thanks for that. I know we've both been busy at the show, yep. so uh, I appreciate yep. you coming Better down and having a chat. Yeah, let's go out there and sell some stuff. Yeah. See you all next time. See you later.